then why is it today that people go out this month on the last day of the month and glorify all the wickedness, all the devils, all the evil things, the dark things that exist and glorify that. And we're going to decorate our houses and we're going to put on costumes and we're going to look like all the wickedness and demons and devils that plague people, that it's real, that, that people be, are plagued with devils. Jesus Christ went and delivered many people of those devils. Yet that seems to be a cool thing to do these days. It's brainwashing. Don't let this culture dictate what is right and wrong. So if you're wondering what I'm preaching about this afternoon, I'm preaching about Halloween. And the title of my sermon is Why No Christian Should Celebrate Halloween. And yes, I make a strong stand on this. Now at the end of the day, you leave here, it's between you and God what you end up doing. But I'll tell you what, if you're, if you're celebrating Halloween, you're not right with God. It is a wicked holiday and we ought to have nothing to do with it. I've already preached a sermon at the beginning of this church about being peculiar people, being separated. You know what? This is one of those examples. You know what the world thinks? Not a big deal. I don't see what you're so uptight about. I don't see what, you know, they'll even say, what are you, a Jehovah's Witness or something? Because they don't celebrate like any, they don't celebrate birthdays or anything like that. Look. There's nothing wrong with celebrating. You know where the word holiday comes from? It's holy day. So even to call Halloween a holy day is pretty perverted in and of itself. It's not a holiday. It's not a holy day. It's a wicked day. And we should have nothing to do with it. It glorifies wickedness. It glorifies evil. So why continue the tradition? Because that's all it is, is a tradition. It's a tradition of man. It started a long time ago, and now people have just been born participating from their families and their families and their families, and just this is what we do, and it's just become this tradition. And it's become this tradition that too many people don't even think about anymore. And the reason why it continues is because most parents remember, well, I did this when I was a kid, and it was kind of fun. I had fun doing that. Look. I participated in Halloween when I was a kid. Every year. I dressed up in costumes. I went trick-or-treating. You know, whatever. We did the Halloween parties at school, public school. It's what everybody did. And if you didn't participate, you were weird. You were not normal. But I'd rather not be normal in the world's eyes. I want to be normal in God's eyes. But think about it. If that's the reason why you're saying, well, I did this when I was a kid and I had fun, so I'm going to have my kids do that. Is that the way you really ought to be basing your decisions on whether or not you had fun doing something? I mean, if you just take that, let's just start applying that in other areas of life. Well, it's kind of fun to take some drugs and do drugs. It's kind of fun to get drunk. It's kind of fun to commit fornication and adultery. You know, those things are kind of fun. Okay, well, let's just do it then. No, 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 we, we need to apply God's morality and laws and, and look at what the Bible teaches about these things and make the proper application. Now, not everything that's fun is a sin, but there is a lot of sinful things that you might say, well, this is kind of fun. It's very telling. Just as I read Mark chapter 5, it's, it doesn't take very much knowledge or wisdom to determine, is this a good thing or a bad thing? And honestly, if you see someone in this condition, it's kind of a scary thing. You know, Halloween, I'm going to give you all the reasons why, you know, no Christian should ever participate in Halloween, and fear is one of them. This promotion of fear, but I'll get into that a little bit later. But if you were to see someone in this state, in this condi condition, that is a fearful thing. That is something that you're going to be like, man, that, you know, that guy is messed up, screwed up. And under normal circumstances, you'd be like, we're not going to glorify this. But when Halloween time comes around, that's when all of this stuff gets glorified. That's when all the, the maniacal, serial killer type personas, it's just, oh yeah, let's watch this movie. Let's, let's see how, these, how twisted and, and screwed up 
the guy, you know, like the, what are all those movies? Like the, the, they're based, a lot of them are based off of, at least semi, based on real stories. With like the Texas Chainsaw Massacre, and um, I think even the, the Michael Myers one is loosely based on some other stories that happened. Like these, these ones, are Halloween, right? That was the name of that one. So I, I know what these ones are. I've seen them. But I'm not encouraging anyone else to go see them. It's, look, I've seen them when I was worldly. But I, but I know what they, what, they, what they do. and they I mean, any horror movie like that, it's, it's, it's this glorification almost of uh, and how, how sick and twisted these days, how sick and twisted can they just come up with and just put in front of your eyes to try to, to, to get a reaction out of you? Try to scare you. Try to do, you know, this is not what we should be looking for for entertainment. Jesus didn't stop his boat to go be entertained by the guy possessed with devils that's living in the graveyard. It's actually a pretty sad state, and he had, com Bible says he had compassion on him. He felt sorry for the guy. He pitied him and cast the devils out of him so he could be relieved of that plague. He didn't just look on it and be like, get the popcorn out and be like, let's see what you're going to do now. Whoa, 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 that was kind of shocking. 